With MassMailer, you can create Salesforce campaigns, add leads and or contacts as campaign members, send mass mailings now or schedule for later, clone existing campaigns to build new ones, and review MassMailer statistics on campaigns. On the Salesforce Campaigns tab, click New to create a new campaign. As you would for a Salesforce campaign, select the type, the status, Enter a name, and optionally set the start and end dates. Enter a description for the campaign, and click Save. On the campaign, click Set Member Status to add the possible mass mailer status values to the campaign. This will include open, delivered, invalid, new, click, or unsubscribe, as well as the bounce rate and spam report in the campaign statistics. You will get a dialog confirming that you've included the mass mailer statuses as possible statuses for this campaign. Click OK. The way you determine which mass mailer statuses count as responded and the default status is in advanced setup. Click Advanced Setup and view the existing mass mailer statuses. Note the default status is set to New and mark which statuses will count as Responded. Counting a status as Responded will affect the campaign member fields Responded, Last Responded Date, and Last Modified. When you have finished the Advanced Setup, click Save. Next, add members to the campaign. Click Manage Members and select Add Member Search to add contacts or leads who are already in your Salesforce database. Specify leads or contacts with the radio button. We'll start with leads. You can specify criteria to search for the leads you want. Once you've added any search criteria, click Go. If you don't add search criteria, clicking Go will return all leads. Select from the leads returned or click the box at the top to select all the leads in the list. Click Add with Status and select the status New to assign the leads when they are first added as members to your campaign. Optionally, click Add Members and continue to search for and add leads or select the Contacts radio button and follow the same steps to add contacts to the campaign. To view the campaign members for a campaign, click Manage Members and select Edit Members Search. Here you can add or remove campaign members or update their statuses. The filters work here to help you find new campaign members to add or narrow the list of existing campaign members. For example, you can use the filters to search for an existing campaign member. Once you have finished adding campaign members, return to the campaign to send or schedule the mass mailing. To set up a mass email to the campaign members in a campaign, click Schedule via Mass Mailer. In the Schedule via Mass Mailer screen, give your schedule a name. Select if you want to blind copy yourself or send a blind copy to the global user. You can select the default sender, the global sender, which is defined in the Mass Mailer setup. You can also select yourself, the logged in user. With this option, you have the option to set a separate reply to email to receive responses from recipients of this mass mailing. Or you can select the lead owner for each lead in the mass mailing. To select an existing email template, select the folder that contains the template from the folder dropdown. 
Then select the desired template. You can edit the template. Alternately, just enter a subject and body field without using a template. Click Save. Choose whether to send now or schedule a later time to send the mailing. If you click Schedule Later, use the Date Lookup to pick a date. Then, set the time when you want to send the email using the drop-down 24-hour clock. Note the time zone you have set for your Salesforce profile on the right. Select Schedule, then click Save. If you want to test the email, click Send Test. When you click Send Test, MassMailer sends the email to your email address, that of the logged in user. You can check the statistics on your campaign to know the number delivered, opened, clicked, as well as total unsubscribes, total drops, and spam and bounce counts via the analytics on the SendGrid account. The MassMailer application, available from a private link on the App Exchange, extends the capabilities and limits of Salesforce's mass mailing functions. With MassMailer's Simple Wizard, there are five easy steps, and you can send more than 250 mailings at a time. You can send to leads, contacts, or users based on a view that you build in MassMailer and can reuse with other mass mailings. You can use an existing template or enter text on the fly. The sender can be the record owner, a global sender, or the logged in user. You can send immediately or schedule for later delivery. On the Mass Mailer app, which you installed from the App Exchange, click the Mass Email Wizard tab. There are five steps to using the Mass Email Wizard. First, select the object you want to send the mass mailing to leads, contacts, or users. I'm going to pick leads for this example. In the second step, select an existing mass mailer view for that object or create a new view. I'll select the 2014 new leads view I built of leads, then I'll click Next. In step 3, you can select any email template in Salesforce or write your own message. If you select a template, I'm selecting one from my unfiled public templates folder called Mansa Welcome. You can fine tune the template just for this mailing, including adding more field references. When your message is ready, click Next. In step four, you make two choices, who you want to send the message from and when to send it. You can select the default of the global sender, which is defined in the mass mailer setup. You can also select yourself, the logged in user. With this option, you have the option to set a separate reply to email to receive responses from recipients of this mass mailing. Or you can select the lead owner for each lead in the mass mailing. In this step, you also choose whether to send now or schedule a later time to send the mailing. If you click Schedule On, use the Date Lookup to pick a date. Then, set the time when you want to send the email using the 24-hour clock. Note the time zone that you have set for your Salesforce profile on the right. You can adjust it at any time. It's important that it matches the time zone you set up with your SendGrid account. Watch the setup video for more information. If you want to test the email before you send the mass mailing, click Send Test Email. When you click Send Test Email, MassMailer sends a single email to your email address, that of the logged in user. On your mass mailing, once you decide to send now or schedule for later, click Submit. After you click Submit to send the mass mailing, on Step 5, click Finish to exit the mass email wizard. The email will be sent to the leads, contacts, or users in the view. You can now view history and statistics on the mass mailing you sent. Mass mailer statistics are available for any mass mailing. 
Click the Mass Email Statistics tab and choose a mass mailing to see its statistics. You can see the number of emails delivered, opened, clicked, as well as total unsubscribes, total drops, and spam and bounce counts via the analytics that come with your SendGrid account. You can also send one-off emails to leads and contacts. You can use any mass mailer template and you can send now or schedule for later. Search for a contact or lead to send a one-off email to. Scroll down to the activity history on that contact and select schedule email via mass mailer. Here just like a mass mailing you can pick a template. You can choose to send now or schedule for later delivery. In the activity history for the contact, we can distinguish between emails sent from Salesforce and emails sent from MassMailer. MassMailer eliminates Salesforce stay in touch limits of 250 requests and lets you send unlimited requests. MassMailer also extends the fields that you can include on your stay in touch requests to more standard fields as well as custom fields. Go to the Mass Mailer Stay in Touch tab to send Stay in Touch requests. You can create a view with the Mass Stay in Touch wizard or use a Mass Mailer view you already created. On the Mass Stay in Touch tab, select from the Mass Mailer contact views you created in the drop down or click Create New View. When you select a mass mailer contact view, partial results are displayed. Click Next to review and confirm the Stay in Touch request. To edit the Stay in Touch email and specify which fields you want the recipients to verify, click Change your mass mailer Stay in Touch email settings. Edit the subject and note body for the Stay in Touch email and enter or update the signature. Click Save. Back on the confirmation screen, to make additional fields available for stay in touch requests, select the fields you want from the available fields column and use the right arrow to move them to the selected fields column. Select Line Carbon Copy Me on one message to get a copy of the Stay in Touch request sent to you, the logged in user. Select Store an Activity for each message to create a task on the contact. Scroll to the bottom and click Send to send your Stay in Touch emails to the recipients in the view. Then click Finished. The recipients of your mass mailer stay in touch emails will receive messages such as this one. If the contact responds to the stay in touch message by clicking update now, the following screen allows the contact to update the fields. Once the contact updates the fields and clicks continue, an email such as the following is sent to the mass mailer stay in touch requester. When you receive the stay in touch response, click update now to update the contact's information in Salesforce. From the resulting Stay in Touch edit screen, you can see which fields the contact provides updates for and their previous values. Select Accept Changes or Reject Changes to be returned to the contact record with the changes. If the contact responds to the Stay in Touch request by clicking No Change, an email is sent to the mass mailer stay in touch requester such as the following and no changes made to the contacts information in Salesforce. Thank you for watching this video. For a free trial of mass mailer, 
go to the mass mailer site at www.mansasys.com slash mass mailer and click get started for free.